Hey you guys, alright, so tonight I'm going to an event. I thought that I would turn the camera on while I did my makeup and address some things that have been going on lately or some things like I feel kind of like might uplift you guys, might give you guys some insight over me and how I handle drama or don't on YouTube, how I view things here and like view the community and my community and our community and um, how maybe you can look at this as not like a YouTube thing. No matter what you do in life, you can take these things that I'm going to say, hopefully very positively, and realize that you can control the drama in your own life. I'm a very drama-free person. My friends say that. People on YouTube, that's one of the biggest things you guys have always said is you stay drama-free. And I'm like, people can come at me so much and I'll still stay drama-free because I don't get in the mud with people. People try to pull me down. I don't get down with them. And then I just everything continues to be better and better. I focus on things that are important, things that are worth focusing on. Just to let you guys know that no matter who you are, no matter what you do, there are crazy things. I've said so many times, the things that have happened over the years on YouTube, of, you know, things that I don't talk about, things that I dealt with, it's very interesting. And I think the way that I've sort of handled those things or overcome them, I think is helpful no matter really what you do. I hope that this is helpful for you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. And um, this is such a good look for going out when, you know, it might be kind of daytime, you're gonna kind of go out into the night, but you want, you're going into the night, but you really want to look natural. You wanna look glam and done, but you wanna look natural. Using natural colors, but I'm gonna show you guys a lot of tips. I'm gonna use a lot of products that are really gonna keep your makeup on. Like it's gonna last all day long, all night long that people won't be like, wow, her strip lashes are real intense, or wow, look at the eyeliner, or wow, look at this or that. I feel like this is just such a great way and it's such a comfortable way to do your makeup for events, whatever they are. So, so kind of like a natural glam vibe. I really do like it. And I really do hope that you guys get the message of this video, that you enjoy it. I think it's gonna be very long. I can feel it. Don't, I mean, you don't have to tell me this is long. I know, I'm telling you, this is long. Buckle in, grab a snack, and just, just, just come along for the ride. And when I do my makeup, I can't really edit anything out that I say because it's like, oh wait a minute, now she's got on like eyelashes, or wait a minute. I, so whatever I say is whatever I say, and we're just gonna go for it. And um, I hope that you guys take this with a lot of positivity and that you feel uplifted after this and that maybe I'll give you some insight into how I've handled myself over the years on here, how I've handled myself with other things. I don't know. I don't even remember what all I talked about. Good Lord, okay. Kind of afraid. When I edit this, I may be like, girl, don't even post that, but we'll see. But anyways, y'all, love you. Hope you love the video and I hope that you pick up a lot of fun tips. Okay, are we ready for this? I don't think I am. I'm looking around, I'm like, where, where's all my stuff? Okay, usually I set out some of my stuff, totally. Okay, let me get the bangs out of my face. So hopefully I've like explained the gist to you already. But let me share with you what I've already used. Okay, so I use the Clinique Even Better Moisturizer. Sometimes I don't use a primer, but if I know I'm going out or like I just want it to look a little extra special, really most days, I mean, you want your makeup to look good, right? I love to use this. It's the Hourglass Veil. Let me tell, but like it really does give you like a nice, nice little glow. So anyways, y'all, um, I really wanted just to kind of like talk to you guys and do this video sharing with you guys this makeup look, but do kind of like a chit chat like we do, you know, in my kind of like style of doing a tutorial. Sometimes we talk about TV, we talk about uh, personal things. I think the last one we talked about like friendships and red flags and I don't know, it's just kind of a fun time to talk about all this stuff. I'm gonna link to everything that I use in case if I just am talking and I kind of blow through something, but this is the foundation I'm using, the Clinique Acne Solutions. I'll talk about that really quickly because that is a big part of it, but y'all, it's just, it's so good. And I just put a little on my hand and I've been using this brush and I wish I would've talked about this in my Sigma video, but it's the F80 Air. I feel like with this one, you can really like get a better finish because you don't have to worry about, like it just doesn't streak. Not that that one does, but sometimes you have to be more careful with a brush. And um, I've been loving the brush over like my beauty blender or any kind of like spongy blender for foundation because I've been getting a little more coverage. Over the years, if you've watched me, I always get people saying, 
how do you stay out of the drama on YouTube or how do you do this or how do you do that? First of all, let me just say, I've done this for 11 years. I feel like I've seen it all. Like I've told y'all I could, I mean, when you see things that are being talked about now on YouTube, like really like big situations or like the latest, you know, like buzzed about thing that's going on, which I'll kind of like talk about a little bit, but it makes, it, it's kind of like, I see those things and I get it because things kind of really do hurt when you help somebody or something goes wrong and I don't know, like if someone ever that I helped or that I ever, you know, did anything for or a company or anything, um, cause I've been burned y'all, I have been burned so much, but I would never use someone's name or do something just to get views, which I know, I mean, look at me, like I could talk about like really buzzed about situations or procedures or this or that, that I know would get a ton of views, but part of me is like, I don't, I want to be true to myself. I don't want to ride anybody's coattails to get anything. I feel like over the last 11 years, I feel proud of what I've kind of created on here. But I certainly respect people and I, I stand up for myself first and foremost. Like if someone ever, like I said, that I never helped or did anything came for me or did anything especially like on this, I would do, I'd do the same freaking thing, you know what I mean? Like you have to speak up and you have, but I just think sometimes there's no reason to if, you know, because there's been, like I said, plenty of things I could talk about, plenty of people, I could, things that you would not freaking believe. But you know, as long as people just keep to themselves, I keep to myself, but you know, if someone ever said anything or did anything like that or tried to discredit me in any way and it was, things like that just don't make me feel good. People ask all the time, who do you watch on YouTube? Who are your people? And it's like, y'all know who my people are, like who I'm friends with, who I'm genuinely friends with. I don't look at the YouTube community and think, this is my community. You know what I'm saying? My community certainly are not people that don't acknowledge me or that people that did acknowledge me when they needed something and now they don't. Those aren't my people. Like when I say the YouTube community, like nothing that anyone does affects me because my community is myself. Can you take me seriously? Why I look like that? Because my community is myself and you guys. Nothing that I say or do has anything to do with anybody else nothing that anyone you know, that this is my channel I can say and do what I want and certainly I'm never gonna live in a world where I have to worry about what anyone else says on theirs and maybe that's why or let that affect me in any way or have any control over what I do whatsoever maybe that's why I just I don't talk about a lot of things I haven't ever you know, I've collaborated with brands, I've collaborated with certain people years and years ago, but I kind of learned my lesson and I realized you do have to be careful who you associate with, you have to be careful who you talk about, you have to be careful who you endorse, and I'm all about you do exactly what you want to do. You talk about who you want to talk about, it doesn't matter if they're scandalous, it doesn't matter what, if you feel good about talking about something, you talk about it and that's, but you also have to be aware that you're gonna get dragged through things if something does come. I mean, that's life, you know? And I feel like a lot of you may be listening to this or seeing certain things that have happened, you know, and you're like, I can't relate to that. I'm not on YouTube, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you guys, and maybe I'll talk about some things in this video. All of this, everything, all the advice I've ever given you guys about like staying drama free and like not worrying about what people, I'm just putting a little bit of lip balm because my lips are like the desert right now. All of this like advice and everything can be translated to any area of your life and I'm just very like non-drama because I see it all the time here and I see that's not what I want like if you have a job do you constantly like if you're a teacher right do you constantly go into other people's classrooms and sure you may have your teacher friends you may have your people that you know because I used to do that you may have your friends but do you go and constantly like watch what they're doing. No, you're focusing on your kids. You're focusing in on your world, right? Your room, how you teach. If you constantly focused on everyone else, you will make yourself crazy. If you constantly talked about everyone else, you will make yourself crazy. And trust me, that happens. Like teachers sometimes are the worst. But you know, does that really matter? No. Like I remember my friend who I student taught with, like she kind of, I remember would just check out from a lot of it and she wouldn't get immersed in all of it. And she was better and happier for it. And I feel like that's, I try to do that with everything. I'm not around people just because, oh, this person's family, you have to be around them. Well, not if they make you feel bad, not if you know they're dramatic. Same goes with friends, same goes with anyone on YouTube. So I'm just saying, I know who my friends are, but my community is my community, it's what I make it. And you can never in your life allow anyone else 
to control anything that you do. Doing my makeup like a little more heavy duty, so I'm like doing all the primer, all the everything. This Trish McAvoy, so good. I'm, I like I said, I'll link to everything because I want to just talk and not like break it up by get a brush, not break it up by like talking about all this. But um, especially if someone does something that you don't like, do you go into their classroom and watch them teach all the time? No. And so for me. I don't watch a lot of people and it's hard for me because like I know the ins and outs like I know what happens I know I know what goes on and I feel like I'm in the most like perfect sweet spot of YouTube where I'm not like millions and millions of subscribers I'm not on everyone's radar I've got the most genuine group of people that watch and that care about what I do and I've said this before I would much rather have 10 people that watch that are here for it, that I love, that I can talk to, rather than 10 million people that are watching for train rack value or because I'm popular or because, you know, I want people that are here for, for me. And I always say like, I will t I will bring it down. Like I will block everybody. If, if people are, people are nightmares, like I'll block everybody. I will get it down to nothing because this is not a drama situation for me. It is something you can control. You see people all the time, oh my gosh, you know, YouTube can be so terrible. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be. Like, you can literally control it. You can control your actions in a way, like I said, I don't collaborate with a lot of people. I don't call out a lot of things that are super buzzed about just to get views or to get on some kind of radar because I don't want to. I just don't care. I don't want to be that person that is where I am because I used other people, because I did something for train wreck value. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like I will be so like just doing my thing, doing the same thing that I wanna do over and over because it's genuine. Showing you guys what I like, doing something positive, creating this like fun, frivolous little escape without getting so heavy. But I think it is important to talk about things. It's important to like talk about these kind of issues and you know, things that I think can help us and help us all grow because it's something that I constantly have to remind myself, don't get involved in this, you know, don't let things bother you, even just in my real life with friends or family, like if something crazy goes on, it's like I really stop and I'm like, does this, you know, where is this coming from, like what, and, and I try not to let it affect me or my family and YouTube's the same way, your work is the same way. You just have to conduct yourself with integrity and do you know what you want to do and not worry about what other people are doing. And a lot of times that comes with separating yourself from a lot of things and a lot of people. And I got that very, very, very early on. There are people, YouTube was just a very different time. Like it was a different time. 11 years, right? Like maybe right when I started, I mean, there was some people like coming up. Some of these people you would not even, People would reach out to me and be like, Tiffany, you're the reason I got started. You're the very first channel I watched. What's your advice? You know, we would talk. I would take time to like help them. You know, well, this is what you need to do. Maybe stay away from this, you know. You know, for me, I was already an adult. I was married. I was in my early 20s, but I feel like I kind of had a good head on my shoulders. Like I had gone through some real things before. This wasn't like me coming right out of high school or coming right out of something and being like, wow, this is my chance to hit it big. I didn't give a shit. My main and still, my main goal in life is not to be known, is not to be like, oh, I want people to like like me or talk to me. It's literally, I wanted to have a good marriage, a good family, do what I wanna do, like have the freedom to like do things that I wanted to do and support my family. And that's what I've done. And I don't want fame. I don't want, I was on someone like the other day, I don't wanna have my own line of stuff. I've, I've seen what goes into that. That's not what I'm trying to do. If I can just be this escape for you guys, if I can be someone that makes you feel good, if this is an outlet for me. I have other things that we also do. It's a positive thing. It's something that I value and it's something that I would never use to like belittle someone else or to like, to use anybody with. And my main thing was always from the beginning I'm going to be a person with integrity because I'm, and I didn't have to even tell myself that, but I've, I, you know, when I would talk to brands, even still, I always think to myself, like I'm using this Kelly palette. That's not what I always think to myself, but that's what I'm using. I always think to myself, like, okay, is, how is this going to come? Is this something that I really want to do? Is this something that makes me feel good? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm using this like light color. I'm going to hold it like this. So you can see what I'm using. You know, I saw very early how many people were watching and people that would comment, people that would send me the most precious stories of like helping them, you know, through whatever 
and like things that I cherish, things that I see all the time still. And I realized very early that this is not just a boom overnight, I've got a million followers and that is just a thing that I can't visualize. I saw each and every, I wanna say each and every one of you, I know it's impossible, I didn't, you know, and I can't to this day, but like the stories, the reality, I see these are each individual people that are watching, that are spending their money, that are trusting me, which is huge. Trust, loyalty, um, that's huge for me. And if you're spending your time away from your families, away from whatever you're doing during the day to watch me, you better believe that I, I could I could never ever like I could never try to sell you guys on something that's stupid or you know talk about something that's fake. And I mean, I've said this so many times, I literally wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I'd be depressed, I'd be a train wreck, and I'm happier. My life's gotten so much better year after year with YouTube because for one, I can look at it as something I'm proud of. I know that I've always, you know, handled myself with integrity. When you see me work with brands, it's brands that I've chosen to collaborate with because I love them and it translates. And some my best responses I get, honestly, is usually on things that are sponsored. You guys see that, you guys know that, okay, this is how she makes her living, but she's doing it in a way that, that she enjoys. I do a lot of affiliate links. Do you know why? Because those are items that I'm buying. I'm like really gesturing, I'm really, really getting into this. Because you all need to know the truth about that kind of stuff too, okay? I am not working with random companies that are giving me codes and I'm just like, okay, yeah, give me the code, pay me, do this, do that, whatever. You know, I won't disclose that, whatever, like no, BS. I, from like maybe about six years ago, I was like, you know what's missing? I want to continue to monetize this without relying on views. And a lot of people chose to go that way. That's why you see a lot of these clickbait things and it became like, let's see what we can do that's crazy to get views because they have to rely on those ads that don't pay out much. I thought, you know what's missing? I want to just keep doing this. I wanna go shopping. I wanna show what I'm really using and share with these people that are my friends. And how can I monetize that? And that's how you do it. You do it with affiliate links. Affiliate links, it's not something that, you know, sure, some brands, and I don't really do this, like, we'll just say, okay, you know, promote this, shop through this link, you'll get a commission. Okay, yeah, I don't care if it's from Nordstrom to Saks to Gucci to Home Depot, to Target to whatever it is. If I wanna show this, and I've spent my money on it, that I can make a link for it, and it's me. I'm not relying on companies to buy me. So when you see people that are showing a lot of products that they've purchased and they're using affiliate links, there's something to that. I think that that's good. I think that you know it's someone that's not just relying on all of these obscure brands that you've never heard of, where like these brands that are you know small brands grab on to a big YouTuber and promise them a lot of money, and then that YouTuber makes their brand. And it's like, do they like this? Do they even use this? Is this something that they would, you know, really like to do? Because my channel, I feel, is obviously, it's about finding good stuff. We are friends talking about these amazing products that we found and that we've shopped for. And like, I have a friend where, um, you know, we're constantly sending each other like pictures of things back and forth, several friends like that. Or, you know, what are you using on your skin? Or what it, what is this that you got? Or what are you loving for this? And I feel like that's what we have here. And it's fun. And it's just such a fun, cool escape. And so that's how I decided, not really decided, I feel like everything that's happened has been natural. And that happened maybe six, seven years ago when the ads were kind of like me. I thought, whatever, I can always do something else, but I'm gonna still do YouTube. That wasn't, it wasn't about money. That's where my brand deals come from. These companies see, okay, well, she's talked about us a lot before, or, you know, she's done this a lot before, you know, and they can see that because they get that information too. And then that's where these collaborations come from with these big brands that I work with. It's not someone that's just randomly like, oh, how much can we pay her to do this? That is something authentic, that is something real. And so I pride myself on the fact that I have built this based on who I am. If I was someone that was like not trustworthy or completely like drama out the yang or whatever, sure, I might get a lot of video views from people that are watching for whatever purpose, you know, for entertainment value, but do they, you know, someone may have, Someone may have 10, 20 million views a video, but do people trust them? Are they really listening to what they say? Do they really care to work with them or to like, you know, or to get what they recommend? And for me, it's like being truthful, being honest, like really being genuine with you guys is what has really paid off for me. I didn't have to create something. I didn't have, it's me, you know, it's, I feel like 
it's our community. Like I didn't have to say, well, now I got to create something. I've got to plan. I got to have something to sell. You know what I mean? It's literally just like, here I am. I'm sharing and you know, you can trust me. I don't know. I mean, whatever, but it's something that you really do have to, you have to think about. Kind of knew that in the beginning when I was talking to certain people or giving people advice or whatever. You have to know, okay, if I shout this person out, what am I getting from it? Will this always be here? And can I trust this person in the long run? I like to help people. I like to do what I can do, but I don't want to be messy about it and throw them in every video because I think, oh, they might come up and I want to be a part of that. Or, you know, this person's going to, hit it big one day and they're gonna owe me something in return. I do, I truly feel like that's not what really happened in a lot of situations or in certain situations. I think people are just genuine and they wanna help. Um, but when you're on YouTube, you, even my first couple years, I knew that you couldn't do stuff like that. So that always surprises me. Do you know what I'm saying? And you kinda of have to watch out for that. So I put on um, eyeliner and I'm really just smudging the hell out of it. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here in a second. Cause I don't like to see visible like eyeliner stripe but like at an event or something, like I want my eyes to look like sexy and pretty. And especially if you're gonna use a few lashes, um, it's just like really pretty natural colors. I'm just doing it like really sexy. But yeah, there's so many people that I've just been appalled. I don't go to a lot of events anymore. I don't do a lot of things. I don't have to, do you know what I'm saying? Like I've, but I like to hang out with certain friends. I like to always see friends, you know, YouTube friends or things like that. But like, I'm not trying to look like I'm important by going to a million conferences or going to a million things. I'm always invited. I always like, you know, I have good relationships with all these people. I just feel like I've learned over the years that YouTube isn't, you know, your success on YouTube really isn't about, it's not really about that. Or for me, I didn't want it to be about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I use this, this little uh, waterproof liner and I used it right on my, um, just right on the line. And then um, I'm gonna take I take a little bit of, I'm gonna do my cheeks and all that good stuff last. I'm gonna take a little bit of this black and just kind of go over it. And this will stay put all night, you guys. Like your liner will look amazing. Thinnest, thinnest line I did of that, um, of that liquid liner. But I don't know, you guys, I mean, I don't really, I'm just saying, you know, you have to be careful in business and, you know, and then just all this with YouTube and YouTube's tough because it's personal relationships that people deal with in its business. And I guess that's with anything, you know? So you do have to be careful. Um, and you know, there's people, I always say this, like, I really don't care. People can say whatever they want all the time. I'm not saying like, oh, you know, people don't talk about me. Sure, there's websites, there's, you know, I've had, I don't really think drama, I mean, drama channels, it's like, I get it. I kind of respect, <laughs> I hate to say this, I honestly do respect. The fact that a lot of these people that have these drama channels are really just, they saw a lot of like corruption, which I have talked about and it bothers me and I don't wanna get too deep into it, but like I see what people do because I'm on the inside of it too and I see things that I've turned down or things that have, you know what I mean? Or things that I, I know how things work and then I see how people do things. That's why I don't watch a lot of things. I don't watch people that make me feel bad. And so I get it. I get why drama channels do what they do. I get it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at, but um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I just feel like we need a lot more transparency. And for me, it's like, what do I even be transparent? I mean, I tell you guys everything that's, you know, I'm, I'm honest about partnerships. I'm honest about what happens. Say the word, like how popular people would be on YouTube if they really just did it 100%, like, without talking about people or without drama or without, you know what I'm saying? It just, it bothers me, do you know? Cause I do value you guys. And um, God, I was like pulled that eye and it really like, I'm not crying. <laughs> like there's, a, I just, it's just my eye like really. <sighs> but I'm gonna use this first. And um, especially if I'm gonna do individual lashes, always I use, I use mascara. A lot of times if I use a strip lash, I'll skip mascara. This one is really good, the by Terry. This is my second tube of it. I just, I love it that much. It's really good for your lashes, but it's nice and volumizing, but it's very light and feathery. Do you know what I mean? And if you add like individual lashes, you don't necessarily want your eyes to look spidery and crazy. You still want them to look very clean because the individual lashes do, you know what I mean? That'll make them stand out even more if you use like a really clumpy, crazy mascara, so. But something that does bother me is like the whole outlook of like community. <laughs> Community, that's a big quote. Community, like when people say, oh my gosh, my community is this or that, I get it, but 
I think that's such a dangerous way to think because no one else in the whole, people, just because they're a, a beauty YouTuber, they're not in my community because, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like you can't say everyone's in your community. Like, you cannot be defined by, every, you've really just got to stay in your lane and do your own thing. And I think if you really just focus on what you're doing, nothing anyone else does matters. You know what I mean? I guess it's just my message to you guys is just don't get caught up in all this crap. And like, I get it. Like if you watch people and you do place your trust in them, it is a big deal to see if something has happened and you want to know these things. So I get it. Uh, but at the same time, I think just a message to everybody, YouTubers, people just conducting themselves in business, people trying, you know, people doing YouTube themselves, whatever you want to do. Stop worrying about, like literally stay in your lane and you know, help people, but you can't help everyone. And you can't, I smeared my face right there with that um, little eyelash curl. It's like it had something black on the back of it and it like, it got me. Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes in a second, but let me, I'm gonna do my skin first and my lips cause I'm kind of like ready to get that taken care of before like I finish all this. Have you ever seen such a tiny little lip liner? He's getting so cute. But I want to use like every little bit, you know? This is the Mac Dervish. So perfect for like, if you're like me and you like um, lip gloss and like I don't want to, if I'm, especially if I'm going to like an event or something, I don't really love doing really done lips because then you're like worried about them. Like, are they wearing off? Is that what people are looking at? You know what I mean? Like I, that's my whole like philosophy with all this. I just want it to look really good, but it's not going to be fussy or makeup-y at all but you're still gonna look like really glam and really good. So this is the best color for defining your lips. You don't look like a heavy lip line. It's just so perfect. I love to kind of like reapply lip gloss. I don't wanna like pull out a lipstick or anything. Like I just wanna be able to do something without a mirror. Your lips always look good. And if it wears off, it's not like a lipstick wearing off. It's just no big deal and your lips always look good. I love these. This is the Buxom, what is it, Samantha? What is this one? Samantha. And I love this one because a lot of these Buxom colors are very glittery. This one is perfect because you see it has just a little bit of a sheen. I'm just, y'all, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just real big on like integrity. I'm real big on like loyalty. I'm big on how you treat people. There have been people that I'm not particularly that close to that think that they might know a lot because they watch me or whatever and people will judge you awfully because of like your where you live or where what you have or what you've shown you have whatever like material possessions that honestly I would give away in a heartbeat I don't give a shit I love handbags I love fixing up my house I love certain things but at the end of the day at the end of the day I've had all those things that's that what makes you happy it enriches your life it's fun it's something my important things are my family or my relationships and none of that shit matters. But then you really see people's true colors when you know that they judge you based on those things. Those are the materialistic people. You know, you don't have to have material items to be materialistic. And you know, I've had, oh, a terrible to say, like I've had people in my life, um, most of my, well actually this isn't terrible to say, most of my friendships are very old. People that I've known for years. I don't have new groups of friends every couple years. I don't have relationships that I've, you know, thrown away year after year or like the things that haven't worked out. Like I really value my family. I really value those relationships. But when you have people that you may not be that close to, but they may see you on YouTube or that, you know, because you're out there, they may see things that you're doing and they judge you or they expect something and you know, like they never really do anything for you or really ask about you or bother to get to know you, but it's like, you're always just kind of like hearing about them or you know, I value family relationships and people that are there for each other equally. And you know, there are always gonna be people that judge you based on those things or based on what they think they know about you or you haven't changed. They've made assumptions about you and it's, shocking and it's weird and like people may think they know certain things about you or whatever but i've always felt very secure in the fact that you guys from what i've sh shared from things that i've talked about if you're not just catching one or two videos and trolling or saying something you know that you don't understand people that have watched me for years i feel like know these things about me and you've always said things like you know you've stayed out of drama and that's amazing or how do you do this or how do you I'm used to it be like what are you talking about like drama, you know, and it's like, I get it now. Like, I totally get that this is like, it is, it's hard. 
Um, I'm using this Hyaluronic powder, which if you guys missed that video where I talked about this, what are you doing? It's so good. It's like going everywhere, but listen, it's like a creamy, delicious, it's not delicious, don't taste it, um, powder that you just put right there. It feels so creamy and amazing. It's just so good. One of my must-haves. Like, I will, I'm gonna link to everything, but you guys have to try this. And those things hurt, you know, when people do make assumptions about you, when you know that, you know, or when people do shady things to make you seem like you're bad or whatever. And that happens. It's gonna happen. People are always gonna do that. I've had people very few times, a drama channel or anything, say something. But they're always kind of complimentary, like, I really like Tiffany, but I don't know what she's doing here. And it's usually something that they don't understand or whatever, and that's not drama to me. You know, people can say whatever they want to say. You know, you can have these awful, you know, you can have these websites where people talk. I don't care. That's fine. Like I said, keep doing that. That's, that, that's something that's never bothered me. But as far as drama, I mean things that you can control. Like, I am not going to get in the mud with somebody. People can be down there and they'll reach for you and they will want you to respond. They will want you to get in the mud with them. You don't have to and you won't have any drama. So that is just my biggest thing that I can say is, you know, you can't control other people. You really can't. Like, especially with all this, you know, stuff that kind of happened recently on YouTube that was kind of like a big thing. It inspired me to kind of talk about how to avoid those situations and how nothing, you know, you can have friendships and collaborate with your friends and do things and sure you might get burned, but you know, it's just not good to rely on someone else to come up. And if you do, if you have a friend that really has helped you or something, um, you don't have to help them back. You don't have to kiss their butts back, but it is good to be loyal and to have friends. And, and if I did have something happen like that with me, if someone that I did help out a long time ago, whatever, I found out had done something wrong, you know, in the moment I would want to just but I don't even know if I would because honestly like in the moment it will make you feel good But I always think what am I gonna feel about this two weeks from now when the dust is cleared? And I'm not like in my feelings about it It's gonna feel icky and I kind of feel like that's where it is now because then you're like well now What have I done? Do you know what I mean? But I respect people for standing up for themselves but you just I don't want to you can't let people walk all over you speaking out and like then Oh, well, here's the truth about this isn't always the best thing either. I think that what speaks the loudest is just how you conduct yourself going forward and keeping just keeping it going because like I said that happened to me so much and you know people have said things or people have done things I have you know I've had a few pretty like rough things happen that people personally know about with but I would never and it would be a big you know it would have I'm, I would I'm so happy I never said anything I'm happy I never um, because I think people honestly kind of get where they're going in life on their own. You may think, wow, this person's killing it. They have millions and millions of subscribers. They have this, or they have that, but it's like, that's not what matters. And you know, you have to look at people's relationships. You have to look at like, you know, the YouTube and your pop, you know, this whole YouTube fame thing is a joke. Like it does not matter. People build businesses off of that. They'll make products. They'll do things and then what? what? If they're not really into it, if their heart's into it, they'll drop it one day. Some of the happiest people may not have, you know, these crazy channels or whatever. And I always see that people, oh, this person makes this much money, this person makes that much money. And it's like, I always feel icky talking about money and about stuff like that. But, you know, it's funny because in that video that I watched, it turned into money and it turned into talking about money. And to do my lashes, I'm gonna do the long black individuals and the medium black individuals. I'll just kind of show you what I do. I literally, and I've shown you how I do this before. So, um, I don't know. I feel like I have a video like super in depth about this. Face the tray outward when you're doing it. Put the little glue on your hand. Face the tray outward like where the knots are close to your eyes so that when you pick them up, they're just facing the right direction. And then you just dip them and you dip a lot of them so they really kind of stay and stick. But I'll be honest with you guys, it's just something that you look at and you look at how people monetize and you know, you talk about money a lot. Um, the truth is, is that there are people, you cannot look at someone's channel and say, oh, they have this many people. This is how much they make because there's a million ways to monetize a YouTube channel and you have to be smart about it. And I never set out and said, oh, I'm gonna be smart about it. Here's what I do. I feel like everything that happened with me happened totally accidentally and it was just based on my 
instinct and what was right and wrong and what felt right and wrong. And the truth is, there could be someone that gets average two million views a video, five million, whatever it is, and then someone that may get like 50,000, the person with 50,000 views may make a hell of a lot more money than them. So you can't judge people, who even cares? But I'm just saying, like there are ways to be successful that are just all over the map. Like you don't have to rely on, and I guess my point in that is saying, I never wanted to rely on the train wreck. I didn't want to, well, you know, I've got to really sell myself out to get views here. I've really got to talk about something scandalous to get views here. I've really got to throw this person under the bus or, you know, this will be good to talk about or wow, I know people want to know all about this surgery or all about this thing that's happened that really is just going to, you know, influence people to get surgery they may not need or do whatever. Oh, but that's going to get a lot of views, so I'm going to make a video on that. It's like, hell no, like you have to have some integrity. And like I said, I just thought from the beginning, I'm using a long one now. See, I just kind of like piled them up. And they're not pretty. And then when you're seeing people, like they're not seeing the band, like I can't even tell. If you don't want to get it too much, I would just leave it like this. And like throughout the night, you won't feel like, wow, my lashes are popping up. Because like if one comes off, who cares? I'd never had that happen. At the end of the night, it's almost like you don't even want to take them off because they're just comfortable. Ooh, that one didn't do well. Hey, where'd you go? Okay, see, did all those, and then I had one that messed up. Um, oh, my glue dried, that's why. <laughs> Gotta get some more glue. But I don't know, you guys, and it's not all about making money, it's not about doing that, but you know, with YouTube, it is what it is. It's become a job for so many people. It's become my job, and it's, it's become the basis of a lot of jobs that I have, and I'm proud of that, and I'm proud that I've done it in a way that's why can't I get this lash on? I should have just stopped at, at where I was because I think it was looking pretty good. See, then you have like one pretty squirrely one. Oh, and I feel like some of this may, I may start editing this and I'll probably cringe. So I'm like, Tiffany, why are you talking about that? But whatever. It's my thoughts and I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. And I am proud that y'all are here because you like me and you take my advice and I was telling one of my friends the other day, I was like, I will keep being like my same old basic boring self and doing the same old shit that I like because it's real and it's genuine. I just feel like we have a friendship here, you guys, and I value you guys. I hope that you, what's happening? I hope you can do lashes better than I can at this point because I'm like having a real hard time with this. Um, it is, it's about a lot of different things too. I was trying to, gosh, what was it? Um, I was listening to someone Oh, I, would, I know what it was. I was listening to uh, this podcast that I like called Bitch Sesh. I used to not listen to it for a while, but I kind of got back into it. I feel like it's been better lately. Um, but Chelsea Handler was on there, and I listened to it, and she said something that was really kind of like interesting because I've always said I'm a very empathetic person. I've known this since I was a kid. Like, I would literally go to school, and I would like... I don't know, like, I remember my mom would always say, like, you don't, if you see a kid that doesn't have, like, I'm gonna, like, tear up now, like, if you see a kid that, like, isn't dressed just right, or he looks a little unkempt, or he looks this or that, like, don't ever tease these kids, if someone doesn't look just right, if someone doesn't talk just right, if someone doesn't, whatever, don't pick on kids because they've got parents that love them, and they've got, you know, they're doing the best they can, you don't know what that kid's dealing with at home, and, like, like, look at me, like, I'm a mess, and so, I literally am so empathetic. I put myself in people's positions. So my whole time growing up, I would see kids and I would just be so emotional all the time. I I can't, I still to this day can't watch a lot of like movies or kids movies, or even kids movies that are just like, have these heart-wrenching moments in them. And it's like, I know it sounds like, oh, you're just sensitive and you're funny, but it's like literally I put myself in people's shoes. I feel like when like there's issues or when people go through something, I feel it really hard and I may not outwardly be a fixer because that's what Chelsea said when she was like you know when people would have issues she never felt bad for them or she never because she wasn't empathetic she was a fixer do you know what I mean like she'd say okay well how much money do you need or how much what do you need me to do and it's like for me that's the opposite of who I am do you know what I mean like I well I'm for my you know like I'm there I'll do what I can but I just am so down about it or I just I'm feeling a lot do you know what I mean and that's why a lot of times like I can't do certain things that people, I don't, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, and it's hard sometimes when people think like you're not doing the right thing, but it's like, 
But then again, it's offensive when people just like want you to throw money at them all the time. At this point, I feel like I am just rambling, but the point is I think that we could be a little more empathetic. I think that we could have more kindness towards people. And But to close the circle, empathy is I think, oh, I forgot to put my rings on. Empathy is I think a huge part of why I am who I am and why my channel is the way that it is because I value you guys and I'm not just like, let me put out a video so people will watch it and buy stuff. It's literally like, what good things can I share? Because I, you know, because I want to, because it's real, because I'm, you know, I'm doing something that is genuine. I think that just goes back to the drama and all of that. I think if you do that and, you're and you have integrity and you kind of honestly, I hate to say, but with YouTube, you really do have to um, keep to yourself a lot of the time. Maybe that's the wrong thing to say, but you really do. That's just the facts. Like, people are competitive, people aren't gonna like you, people are gonna judge you, and you can't be surprised when they do. And when people show you their colors, you have to believe them when you're at an event and people that once, like, really wanted your opinions and really, like, you know, told you all these nice things and all this stuff, and you're at an event talking to them and they treat you like garbage or they treat you like you're like a peasant. You know, it's just disgusting and I think it's not about work. It's not about, it's about humanity and it's about treating people with dignity. And so if you continue to do that, no matter what you do, whether it's YouTube, whether it's, um, whether you're a teacher, whether you're, whether you, anything that you do, anything that you do, if you just treat people with dignity and respect, you're gonna be so happy. You won't have drama, you won't. And there will always be people, like I said, that will reach out to you from the mud and try to pull you in. And who cares? Let, people can say that's the thing with the world, with YouTube. People can put out a video, people can write anything online, people can text you at any time and reach you and say the most awful things. But it's how you react to them. It's do you reach back and get in the mud with them? You know, you just don't want to engage in that. And if you don't, you won't have drama. So um, sure, you can say, I can't control this. You know, this person is, you know, saying this to me. Yeah, you can. Don't be part of it. I don't know. I just. Oh, I really hope that this was positive though. No, <laughs> was it? Was it really depressing? I think I cried a little in this video. That was that got so weird, I don't even know. I guess I'm just trying to say, my wrist is like cracking. Um, I don't know, I think we could all deal with, I think we could all try to have some empathy. Try to think how things are gonna affect people, even if they've done us wrong and you know, you don't wanna, um, I don't know. I just, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. My, I guess my point is just stay out of it. Just stay the hell out of everything. Don't get so involved in other people's problems. This is so good. The all-nighter, I swear to you guys, my makeup will be on all night. So yeah, my big takeaway, you can control the drama in your life. Sometimes reacting the loudest isn't always the best. Sometimes, you know, you do need to stand up for yourself and set the record straight. But most of the time, I think your positivity, continuing to move on and not addressing these things will make these things go away and won't make you a part of it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. Be positive, you guys. Stay drama free. Have a good day. I hope that you got something positive out of this. I hope you feel a little uplifted or about the control that you have over your own life and over these crazy things that will happen. So love you guys so much. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye y'all.